every time there is an earthquake, we ask, did you feel it? We had one today, and even if you didn't feel it, you probably heard about it from your phone as it was happening. Around 9.30 this morning, it seemed like everybody's phones were buzzing with a warning to duck and cover. And even though we're only a day away from the great shakeout and all of the drills that come with it, this one was not a test. The MyShake app initially warned a significant quake was coming, but what happened was much less intense, thankfully. It was centered near Isleton in Sacramento County, east of Antioch. Well, there was some shaking at a liquor store in Isleton, but it wasn't major. A couple of things fell on the floor. But for the majority of people here in the immediate Bay Area, it was confusion that struck. Native Santa Cruz tweeted out, I got the shake alert but didn't feel anything, adding that it was confusing because there's another earthquake test tomorrow. Brendan posted that the alert was scarier than the quake itself. Matt posted that he ducked and covered but didn't feel the quake. And even though the quake rumbled the Midland fault line in the Delta, the San Andreas fault account had to chime in, posting, sorry, everyone, I got too excited. Tonight, our Andrea Nakano talked to a scientist who helped create this popular earthquake early warning system to find out if it did its job. According to Dr. Angie Lux with the Berkeley Seismology Lab, the shake alert worked exactly the way it was supposed to. It was the estimate of the magnitude of the quake that was way off. Dr. Angie Lux has worked on the shake alert system along with the USGS. The goal is to give people even just a few seconds to know that an earthquake is coming. But like many Wednesday morning, even the creator of the system thought it was a drill. I definitely got the, the alert this morning and I ran to tell my kids like, hey, look, the, uh, the test. And then I realized, no, this isn't what it's supposed to say. And then the test is tomorrow. The shake alert system's main goal is to alert as many people as it can, as fast as it can. But that doesn't leave much time for complete accuracy. Wednesday's quake was initially estimated as a 5.7, which would have impacted most of the Bay Area. It's all happening very, very quickly. And that's why sometimes we see a magnitude estimate that may come in a little high or may come in a little bit low or maybe our location may not be like perfectly spot on because we're doing everything very, very fast so that we can warn as many people that they're about to feel shaking. As more data started coming in from seismometers, the quake was downgraded to a 4.2. And since it hit in rural Rio Vista, there were fewer tools nearby to measure it. And it's a case of an earthquake happening in an area that maybe doesn't have that many seismic stations, but there happened to be one really close to where it started. And so um, that's the sort of thing that gives these fluctuations in sort of how accurately the system estimates. The alert may have spiked people's anxiety here in the Bay Area more than the actual quake, but Dr. Elliott says it's a good reminder of what is eventually coming. No drill is as good as sort of a real life drill. And so, you know, think back to what happened this morning when that magnitude 4 uh, hit, when you got alerts on your phone. Um, were you prepared to deal with it? The USGS and the Berkeley Seismology Lab will look into this incident to see how speed and accuracy could be improved. Dr. Angie Lux, though, feels it's better to have a system in place now, despite some of its flaws. We could wait another 10 years and just not make it accessible to the public while we continue to get data. But I think that our system is so worthwhile and useful as it is that it's important to get those alerts out to people now, even though it may not have the perfect estimate every time. OK, and back to that drill we were talking about, you'll get another alert tomorrow on your phone. Probably this time it will be an actual test unless, of course, another earthquake happens. But if you have the MyShake app, you can expect to get this drill alert at 1019 a.m. tomorrow as part of the annual Great Shakeout drill that happens all over the world. Over two million Californians have the app.